The love story of Eloise and Avalar is one of the most famous and popular love stories of all time. And it's a good one filled with passion, romance, secret affairs, self-sacrifices, and well, you'll see. There's even a secret marriage, which is always fun. It is 12th century Paris, and Abelard, a famous French philosopher, moves into the house of Notre Dame's canon, Fulbert. Eloise, Fulbert's niece, is also living in this house with her uncle, and of course, she is a young, beautiful maiden who's also one of the most educated women of her time. Abelard, taken with her beauty and intelligence, convinces Fulbert to allow him to become Eloise's tutor. Now you can already see where this is going. The two fall in love and have a passionate secret affair. They made love in the kitchen of the convent, in the boudoir of the girl's uncle. They were really just passionately in, in love, physically everywhere. They wrote hundreds of love letters, and not before long, Eloise was pregnant, of course. Now there's a couple of things impeding this couple's happily ever after. Eloise's age has been up for debate, but it's been estimated that she was anywhere between 17 and 27 years of age, while Abelard would have been in his late 30s, so that's about a 10 to 20 age year gap. He would lose his job because of this relationship. It's kind of an embarrassing thing for a man of his position, plus her uncle. Her uncle would not be happy. Seeing as it's pretty difficult to hide a baby bump, Eloise flees to Brittany, Abelard's place of birth, and she stayed with his sister until she gave birth to their baby boy, Astrolabe. When her uncle Fulbert found out, he wasn't too thrilled. In fact, he was furious that Avalar had ruined his niece. Avalar offered to marry Eloise, but Eloise refused, in part saying that marriage would impede his work. It would bring disgrace upon him. Eloise preferred to be his whore rather than his wife, preferring freedom over chains. But Abelard refused to give up, and eventually he convinced her to return to Paris, and they wed in secret. Fulba, wanting to punish Abelard for ruining his reputation, decided to start spreading the news of their secret wedding, causing a little bit of a problem. Avalar sent Eloise out to the convent of Argentil for safety, or maybe, you know, trying to recover his reputation for having a baby mama, but then denying it and having a secret marriage. You know, either one. Fulbert, however, believed that Avalar was trying to get rid of Eloise by turning her into a nun. Oh boy, this is where it gets a little bit dark. In his rage, Fulbert hired some henchmen to break into Avalar's study, and they castrated him. Yep. Once recovered in his humiliation, Abelar decided to enter the Abbey of Saint Denis and took his vows as a monk. At Abelar's insistence, Eloise also became a nun despite having to leave her son behind. Despite their separation, their love continued through what is now their famous love letters. Men call me chaste, she writes. They do not know the hypocrite I am. Even during the celebration of mass, she confesses lewd visions of the pleasures that she shared with Abelard take such a hold upon my unhappy soul that my thoughts are on their wantonness instead of on prayers. I should be groaning over the sins I have committed, but I can only sigh for what I have lost. This love story is by no means a perfect fairy tale. In fact, when we read it, there's a lot of questions to be had. Today, you think about a teacher-student relationship? Kind of gross and irresponsible. Eloise, despite being well-educated, wasn't a feminist heroine either. She gets married even though she doesn't really want to. She becomes a nun just because he told her to. 
There's so much intensity and sacrifice in their relationship that it all seems kind of foreign, but the tragedy of their relationship has a kind of grandeur to it that has captured the imagination and attention of everyone around the world. 600 years later, Josephine Bonaparte, the first wife of Napoleon I, was so moved by their story that she ordered the remains of Avalar and Eloise to be entombed together. To this day, lovers or lovelorn singles from all over the world visit the tomb to leave letters at the crypt, in tribute to the couple or in hope of finding true love. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and in celebration of Valentine's Day this February, I'm going to be releasing a couple of more videos similar to this one of some famous love stories. So if you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. I've already done one famous love story, which is the story of Cupid and Psyche, which you can definitely already check out. And in a couple days, be sure to come back to watch the next installment. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. But their love... Oh my god. What the... Why?